John chapter 3. The Son of Man came down from heaven. Nobody else has gone up to heaven except him. Long ago, Moses lifted up the metal stake in the wilderness to save his people. In the same way, people must lift up the Son of Man on a cross. As a result, everyone who believes him will be able to live forever with God. God loved the people in the world so much that he gave his one and only Son to save them. As a result, everyone who believes in the Son will not die. Instead, they will live forever with God. Ooh, that's an easy read. That's easy English. Psalm 23. The Lord takes care of me. Like a shepherd with his sheep, I have everything that I need. He takes me to green fields where I can rest. He leads me to streams of water where I can drink. He gives me new strength in my life. He is my guide to the right paths. He does this to give honour to his name. I may walk through a valley that is dark as death, but I will not be afraid of any danger. This is because you are with me, Lord. Your stick and your shepherd's pole protect me from danger. You prepare a big meal for me while my enemies watch. You put olive oil on my head. You bless me so much that my cup is completely full. I am sure that you will always be good to me. You will love me all the days of my life. That will never change. I will live in the Lord's house for as long as I live. Ooh, that's an easy read. That's easy English. Hello, my name is Stephen. And as you just saw, I was reading from a Bible that was released in 2018 called the Easy English Bible which is a simplified version of the Bible that uses a limited vocabulary and simpler sentence structure to make it more accessible to people who have limited proficiency in English. This particular Bible was developed by the Mission Assist, which was a once known as the Wycliffe Translators, a Christian organization with the goal of helping people understand the Bible more easily, particularly those for whom English is not their first language or those with limited literacy skills. And I believe that for somebody who has a vocabulary of 1,200 words, usually it's somebody who is about four or five years of age. So it's just a young child. And we develop vocabulary more and more as we grow older. And so this is really geared for somebody who is learning English, who has a poor grasp of English, so they can read it simply and understand it. The Easy English Bible typically uses short sentences, uh, straightforward vocabulary, and clear explanations as to ensure that its content is as understandable as possible without sacrificing the essential meaning of the text. As we'll see shortly, it's available online, often used for Bible studies, teaching, and missionary work. The Easy English Bible was not adapted from a single Bible version. In other words, it wasn't, they didn't take the King James or the New International Version and streamline it and change it. Instead, they did a fresh translation created by the mission assist using original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek texts. The translators aim to produce an accurate and yet simplified version of the Bible for readers, as I said, with limited English skills. The Eng Easy English Bible Translation team they primarily used and established critical editions of the Greek New Testament, such as the Nestle Alain Novum Testamentum Grece but also the United Bible Society's Greek New Testament. So you might ask the question, okay, is the Easy English Bible, is it word for word? Is it thought for thought? Or is it a paraphrase? And when you first look at it, you think, hmm, maybe it's a paraphrase. But when you have a look at it and compare it to, say, the Message Bible, it's not really a paraphrase at all. It is more of a thought for thought or a dynamic equivalence translations such as the New International Version. It is uh, aims to convey the original meaning of the biblical text, just like the NIV or some other uh, Thought for Thought Bibles, but in a clear and simple language. And you must admit, when you were reading, when I was reading it to you, it is very simple, it is very clear, and it is easy to understand. It is a Bible that you could give to your young children, and they could read it quite simply and quite easily. While it simplifies the vocabulary and the sentence structure for easier comprehension, it still strives to remain faithful 
to the meaning of the original Hebrew and the original Greek text. Whereas on the other hand, a paraphrase, as you know, tends to prioritize modern expressions and readabilities while sacrificing the actual exactness and fidelity of the source text. So let's just have a look at another scripture, a brief scripture. We'll turn to Genesis chapter 1 and we'll check that out. Here we are on Genesis chapter 1 and beginning in verse 1. Let's see how it reads. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. The earth was without shape and it was empty. And deep water covered the earth and everything was dark. The Spirit of God moved above the water. God said, there will be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. He caused the light and the dark to be separate. And God called the light day. He called the dark night. Evening passed, and then it was morning. This was the first day. So as you can see, it is very simple. Read there in Genesis chapter 1. Let's just turn then to the, the website that they have, the Easy English Bible uh, website that they put together. Uh, let's have a look at it now. So as you can see here on the Easy English Got Bible, it's got a front page, Easy English Bible. The English Easy English Bible is an easy Bible to read and to understand in simple modern English. Based on a vocabulary of 1,200 common English words, as I said a moment ago, ideal for people who are learning English or speak English as a foreign language. It's a meaning for meaning or thought for thought, not a word for word. And then it goes on. You can click on these various books of the Bible and it opens up for us to read. Another page here says, what is the Easy English Bible? Notice how they put the Easy English together to make it more, um, more marketable, dynamic. Easy English Bible is a new translation of the Bible that uses a very limited vocabulary and simple sentence structures. Its purpose is to express the original text of the Bible in a clear language that is easy to understand. And as we said, translation uses the basic vocabulary of about a thousand. From what I've read, it's about 1,200 dictionary words that are common use. Uh, plus 600 words that are less common. As far as possible, the use of glossary words is kept to a minimum, and the translation uses the basic 1,000 words vocabulary when these can express the meanings of the original text in a clear and accurate way, which must have taken quite a bit of um, juggling of words to find something that was actually simple and within their actual vocabulary. The voc grammar, the sentence in the translation are limited in length with a maximum of 20 words. There are usually no more than two main verbal expressions in a sentence. And while this results in a more sentences, explicit connections between the sentences maintain a cohesive flow, which is what we saw when we read it. The following grammatical limitations apply to easy English. Firstly, there is no passive constructions, except where an alternative is too complex. There are no rhetorical questions, except where the implied answer is clear. And there are no idiomatic expressions. Therefore, they keep it very, very simple. The base text, uh, which is what I mentioned to you a moment before, the Old Testament is made, taken from the Biblia, Hebraic, Masoretic text. New Testament, they say, is basically from the New Nestle, Aland, Novum Testamentum, Rise. Translation methodology. Translation is a project of a mission assist, a Christian charity based in the United Kingdom. Uh, I was part of the Wycliffe Global Alliance and is a member of Global Connections. Many volunteer members of Mission Assist have contributed their skills and experience to their translation. These include drafting, linguistics, theological checks, style checks, and proofreading. And their translation philosophy, as it says, they believe in the divine inspiration of the original Bible texts in the languages in which they were written. And the words of the original text are the means of expressing God's message to humankind. And each word is there for a divine purpose. And the content of this message is conveyed at many different levels of language. Words are building blocks of sentences, paragraphs, and discourse. The Easy English Bible seeks to convey God's communication in a clear way at all these levels. And then you can actually turn to another page on their website called About Us which I just read there to do with is part of Wycliffe, Bible, Global Alliance, member of the Evangelical Alliance, follow the mission assist statement of belief. Uh, they have a vision here uh, is to help people from every country to read and understand the Bible and apply it in their lives. In this way, we hope to play our part in task of turning John's vision into reality. He says in the vision at the top here, Revelation 7, 9, 
After this, I looked and saw a very big crowd of people. There were so many people that nobody could count them. They came from every country, from every family group, and from every language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb. Our mission, it says here, is to help people to read, understand, and apply the Bible to their lives by providing a Bible translation, Bible commentaries, and Bible studies in easy language. And they also have and they also have a page here called What is New? And you can have actually download the Easy English Bible on your phone, Android or Apple. Uh, it has an Easy English Bible guide, study guides, how to be a disciple, the gift of God, short introduction to Christian faith, how to do Bible interpretation, how to meet Jesus, 30 days with Jesus. Have all these different topics as well that they have, they have put together at the time. So there you have it. That is the Easy English Bible. Roughly 1,200 uh, vocabulary, words, vocabulary. Very simple to read, very easy to understand. And I like the way in which they have tried to stay true to the original Hebrew and to the original Greek. Uh, and they have just simplified the language, simplified the English, made the sentence structure smaller for people to understand it. Have you ever come across the Easy English Bible in your studies or looking at different Bibles over the years? Do you have one on your bookshelf, on your computer? Do you use it on your app? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Easy English Bible. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share so more people may see it. Until next time, God bless.